In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your spirit. Brothers and sisters, today we confront the terrifying power of Jesus as he revealed himself in the act of raising up the dead. And as we enter the Mass, let us acknowledge our sins. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, Lord have, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You sit at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. My almighty God, have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, author of innocence and lover of chastity, who bestowed the grace of martyrdom on your handmaid, the Virgin Saint Mary Goretti, in her youth, grant, we pray, through her intersection, that as you gave her a crown for her steadfastness, so we too might be firm in obeying your commandment. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, I will allure her. I will lead her into the desert and speak to her heart. She shall respond there as in the days of her youth when she came up from the land of Egypt. On that day says the Lord, she shall call me my husband and never again my Baal. I will Spouse you to me forever. I will expouse you in right and in justice, in love and in mercy. I will expouse you in fidelity, and you shall know the Lord, the word of the Lord. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever and ever. Great is the Lord, and highly to be praised. His greatness is unsearchable. His great. Generation after generation praises your works and proclaims your might. They speak of the splendor of your glorious majesty and tell of your wondrous works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. They discourse of the power of your terrible deeds and you declare your great greatness. They publish the fame of your abundant goodness and joyfully sing of your justice. The Lord is gracious and merciful. The Lord is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and of great kindness. The Lord is good to all and compassionate toward all his works. The Lord is gracious and merciful. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Our Savior Jesus Christ had destroyed death and brought life to light through the gospel. 
Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. While Jesus was speaking, an official came forward, knelt down before him and said, my daughter just died, but come, lay your hand on her and she will live. Jesus rose and followed him and so did his disciples. A woman suffering hemorrhages for 12 years came up behind him and touched the tassel on his cloak. She said to herself, if only I can touch his cloak, I shall be cured. She turned around, Jesus turned around and saw her and said, courage, daughter, your faith has saved you. And from that hour, the woman was cured. When Jesus arrived at the official's house and saw the flute players and the crowd who were making a commotion, he said, go away. The girl is not dead, but sleeping. And they ridiculed him. When the crowd was put out, he came and took her by the hand and the little girl arose. And news of this spread throughout all the land. The gospel of the Lord. Brothers and sisters, the girl, the girl arose. That is the essence of our salvation, our conqueror of death. Jesus showed us his powerful, his terrifying power, his, 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 by, by this action of Jesus, in the sense he revealed the grace of God, and he revealed the will of a God who wants us to be alive. There is something about that action, that touch, that, that sense of real or concreteness of the act that speak to what it is that really human in the way Jesus show us. Brother and sister, at the end, is this human? Is it utterly human, but at the same time, it is utterly profound and powerful? This is what we confront in our daily life. This is what we confront in the life of the church, in how we come and receive Christ. It's very, very human, very concrete, bread, wine, water. But at the same time, there is something about it that's very profound. It has a power to, to transform. It has a power to give life. Today we celebrate St. Maria Gregoretti, who shown us just that. She herself chose to be alive. She herself chose to follow Christ in her purity. And the consequence of that is a body, body, bodily death. But her death also brings a, a conversion of her attacker. He became converted. And he, he finally, after years and years in prison, he became one of her followers. That, brothers and sisters, is, is such a powerful statement to us all. How about us? Are we choosing life? Are we choosing Jesus in our, our daily life?
Let us bring our prayers before God, who gives us everything we need. For our church leaders, may the Holy Spirit guide their work and give them the strength to govern wisely. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayers. For nations throughout the world, may the Lord deliver them from the evils of war and oppression. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For families torn by division, may God grant them a spirit of reconciliation and peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayers. prayers. For all of us gathered in this holy place, may the word and sacrament receive, nourish and sustain us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. For those who have died, may they rest in God's embrace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. And let us pause for a moment to lift up to the Lord those special intentions that we hold in the silence of our hearts. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayers. prayers. Ever living God, hear our prayers and grant all that we ask in your mercy. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the offering we bring in celebration of Blessed Mary Gorethi with your gracious acceptance, O oh Lord, we pray, just as the struggle of her suffering and passion was pleasing to you. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is, right and just. it is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God through Christ our Lord. For out of compassion for the weight weariness that is ours, he humbled himself and was born of the Virgin Mary. By the passion of the cross, he freed us from unending death, and by rising from the dead, he gave us life eternal. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as with our ends we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, full of your glory, O in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, O in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by setting down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, 
he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, we proclaim your death, O Lord, bless your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray, the partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Kevin our Bishop, his brother Bishop Timothy and Tan, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints, St. Mary Goretti, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heir to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Be 
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my room. For he say the word, and my soul shall be healed. body of Christ. An act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I, I believe, believe that you are, you are present, present in, in the most, most holy sacrament. sacrament. I, I love, love you above all, all things. things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who bestow and blesses Maria Goretti a crown among the saints, for her twofold triumph of virginity and martyrdom, grant, we pray, to the power of this sacrament, that bravely are overcoming every evil, we may attain the glory of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Saint Michael the Archangel, defend, defend us, us in battle. battle. Be our, our protection, protection against, against the wickedness and snares, snares of, the of the devil. May God, may God rebuke, rebuke him, him, we humbly, humbly pray. pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust into hell Satan and the other and the evil spirits who prowl about the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Amen.